many things we did together You used to promise me it would be forever Feeling like the end, don't think I will get better, baby So I'm currently at Constantine, Toronto, which is a Mediterranean restaurant I'm actually back to Toronto, I did go back to Hong Kong after my Mexico trip If you guys saw my vlog before I kind of wanted to come back because I haven't experienced a fall winter season in Canada for over three years now so I kind of wanted to just come back and see my friends and just you know go to the Christmas markets and just kind of embrace the cold weather I'm not really a winter sort of girl but I think that just being in Hong Kong with like all the constant heat kind of changed me So I'm flying back to Hong Kong in a few days and I kind of wanted to check out this place called Wahlburgers, which is opened by Mark Wahlberg. They really operate tight, lean, efficient. Pretty curious about how celebrity open ventures that's kind of beyond their job scope usually is like, if it's any good. We're going to go try out the place and then hit up the Christmas market after. Can I get the R burger and then poutine side? So I got the R burger with poutine side because Canadian things and I got it without without pickles. Let me try it. I'm at the Christmas market now and I'm trying to look for a hot chocolate. It's kind of cold. Expensive non essential things. Cause when I kiss your lips, the feels I get is everything I need. So tell me all you want for Christmas is me. So during the month and a half that I've been back to Toronto, I did a bit of shopping and accumulated. A bunch of stuff, some fall and winter pieces that I wanted to show you guys. They're mainly from brands that are more accessible in North America versus if you buy it in Hong Kong, the shipping fees are a lot higher. First off, we have Aritzia and I actually ordered these few pieces online because I got it during their Black Friday sale. The first piece is this Sunday Best Cinch Seamless Rib Cage Long Sleeve and I got it in the color white and I think that this is just a really great basic piece to have in your wardrobe. It's great for layering or wearing with yoga pants, leggings, and a pair of dunk lows, which is how I've been styling it. I actually wore this a few times and I love the material because it's pretty thick but it's also stretchy. So the next piece I have is this Wilfred Alchemy sweater dress and it has a mock neck to it and it also has a really nice thigh slit but it's also cut in a really modest way so you can totally wear it for like a Christmas office party or on a date night and there's many ways I feel like with this dress you can dress it up or dress it down and it's perfect for Hong Kong winter because winters in Hong Kong are not that cold but again get pretty chilly at night. The piece I have is the Babaton Forma Rib Mock Tank Top and I know this kind of looks really similar to the dress except it's like the top half portion 
but I feel like you can never really have too many basics and my intention of getting this top is because I thought that it would be really cute styled with like an oversized blazer or a jean jacket and it'd be cute to wear with jeans in general and the material is also a little bit different than the alchemy dress this one's definitely a thicker material it's not sweater material it almost has like a contour feel to it last piece I have from Aritzia is this Sunday best peggy cable knit sweater and it's in the epicurean brown color and it's really nice material this is like a wool cotton blend and the reason why i really like this even though it is on the pricier side is because of the fit and the length so when i wear it it it's not quite like a sweater dress length, but it also has an oversized fit. So it would be cute with a mini skirt and it can kind of peek through and then with over the knee boots, which is how I styled it. Moving on from Aritzia, the next piece I have is from this brand called Rouve and it is a French brand that I found on Instagram. And what I really like about this top, this is the Eva top. And what I really like about it is how unique the cutting is. This is a brand that kind of focuses more on beauty wear and it has a very like seductive feel to it yet it's totally wearable out in public and as like casual wear and I got it in the sand color and it has a lightweight knit fabric to it so it's super soft so another thing that I've been loving this winter and fall season are caps I've been such a cap girl lately and I really want to build my collection of caps and the first one I have is from this brand Sporty and Rich and I've always loved this brand I love how it kind of gives like an old money vibe but yet it's not very mainstream and this is really easy to match of anything I love the color and I love what the brand stands for every purchase from them they do plant a tree which is amazing the next cap I have is from Urban Outfitters it is the MLB 47 New York Yankees cap and I really like this cap because of the material it's like a corduroy material which is quite unique for caps and I thought that it would pair really nicely with sweaters just because of the nature of the material and very quickly I kind of want to talk about some books that I've been loving for the past month. So the first one is Lighter by Young Pueblo and if you've seen my recent Hong Kong vlog, you would have known that I am a really big fan of his books. Uh, his books are like therapy. It talks about connecting with yourself and how to heal self-growth and also what's really nice is that it talks about how when you work on your self-growth you're also contributing to the better of society because you can show up in your most authentic self and have more compassion for different people love to like highlight my books as well the wisest and happiest people i have met are continuously immersed in the truth of change since the weight of forever is no longer something they are chasing they move easily through life's ups and downs and treat each moment more generally than the average person the next book i have is people we meet on vacation by emily henry i'm sure if you're on tiktok you've seen this book i gave into book talk and I'm almost done this book and I actually really like it. It is a fiction rom romance novel and it's about two best friends who usually go on a trip every summer together. Something happened and then they didn't talk for a while and then there's this one last trip that they can reconnect two years later and try to build the connection again and I really like this book because it's written in a very heartfelt way and I love the quotes. I think that Emily really has a way with her words uh, when she writes a dialogue between Alex and Poppy, which are the two main characters. And the last book I have is called Attach by Amira Levine and Rachel Heller. And this is actually a book that my best friend got me and I haven't been able to read it yet, but I definitely will after I finish People We Meet on Vacation. But it's, it's essentially a book about uh, attachment styles and how that affects the way you show up in relationships and how to navigate people with different attachment styles. So it really challenges you to think about the way that you show up so i think i want to end the video here if you guys like my videos don't forget to subscribe and to follow me on social media i have all my social media links linked down below and my next vlog will probably be in hong kong or if i take another spontaneous trip i will definitely be vlogging that and i'll see you guys next time bye